Last battle, guys, we are underway. It is about to kick off. Let's look at this final last intro here for the CD Rivals, guys. If you haven't already joined the Discord here as well, the Discord for the CD Rivals is going to come up at the very end of the video. We need EU frontline. <laughs> Point guard is not what it used to be. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? They are. They. They're not as strong as they have been. You're right. They're very not the same as things stand. Here we go. We're going to have a look here as the uh, units on the attack here for the NA side. What units are we bringing out here? We've got plenty of palace guards, Cyclean Militia, Prefecture Pikemen. Oh, interesting. Gaucho bringing in Prefecture Pikes. A couple of Prefecture Pikes are trying to kill heroes. You've got Iron Reapers, IPGs, Woodcutters, and then your Banner Guards on the defense. They've got Axe Raiders. They've got some Greyhairs. They've got some Vidals. That's not Vidals. Claymores. They've got Tertios and Senji Grenadiers and some Javelins as well. So it's going to be an interesting fight up here. Is a... Uh, the predictions going to go in the favour of Pongar, or are your predictions going towards Plebs after Plebs very very dominant attack? Do you believe Plebs? I've got it in them to defend against the Pongar. Yo, great Slizzy, Action Jackson, thank you for the follows, guys. Welcome to the clan, appreciate it, guys. Thank you for being here. We're almost at 600 viewers tonight as well. Almost at 600 viewers. That's fantastic, guys. Good to see you all here. Really do appreciate it. Hope you're loving the energy. Hope you're loving the stream. Hope you're loving the fights here as well. First, are you on a team? I miss seeing your crazy slight clicks per second. <laughs> Let's have a look here. Now we're up and above. We're looking at the guys from Plebs moving their units back like we would expect from the top tier teams. Moving their units away onto home point. Home point is where you want to defend. Last season for EU2 has proven to be better than any. Ooh, you're just here for drops. Love your name. <laughs> I'm just here for drops. I don't want to chat. I don't want to chat to you. Who do you are? 100% of you guys voting predictions so far on the plebs, on the defense, for plebs to win this one. 68,000 channel points going in favor of the plebs. Only 160 going in the way of Pongard. No, there's no hope for Pongard here by the looks of it from chat. You just don't believe these guys have it in them to do it. Kick an army, look at that. Kick an army out in the background here. Kicker Tusu picks up Urihel as the first kill. One boy from Pongard is already down and out of the battle for the first few seconds here. Army's just going to roll about, run about, have a bit of fun. Hopefully they've got, yeah, they've got ladders up so they can get back on the wall. Army's back up on the wall. Sad. <laughs> Okay, so take down and Gaucho guys are all that ready to go through the gate. The gate is open. Gaucho comes in through the gate, has a look to see the heroes as the heroes all jump off and jump away for the guys of Plebs as the any boys start making their way up onto the siege tower. As always, going to grab an A point for free and they will start moving, making their way forward towards B and the supply point over on the right hand side and over here on the left side beside B. Once that is done, they will then start to make their push pushes towards the home point where this is crucial and the most important point to defend. As always, home point you don't want to lose because you lose, you lose, home point you lose. It doesn't matter if you lose A or B, you can lose however you want. As long as you can defend that home, you guys can go on and win the battle. End of here, it gives you, all it does is gives you extra time as you can't see. We're going to go up to about 15 minutes here. By the time that B gets captured, we'll have like 16 minutes potentially for the any boys to push on to the home point here and cap it. As you can see, a lot of the boys up top here all got the name of Kicker. And they're all the boys from Plebs. All on the walls, paying attention to where the any boys are rotating to. As you can see, they see the units moving. The any boys are going into the back here. Just like the guys from EU1 and Plebs did the last time round. But the any boys are going to bait that, go back and forward. Are they going to go completely in there or not? Or are they going to split? They start to make their way around now. And the heroes are paying attention. Any boys are going to get that for free. But Plebs are just not stupid. They're not going to let that happen. Surely not. Surely they're not going to let this happen as quickly as this. They're going to grab the whole supply point and as things stand, 
Now they're going to start to make their way around and manoeuvre themselves into a position to defend this here. Plebs, any boys have got the wall and they've got the supply point capped. That is theirs. Now they're on the supply point. Plebs, just sitting waiting. They're waiting patiently. They think they've got this. Lord Peebus, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the clan. But the plebs are just going to pay attention. They're just going to wait it off here. They're going to pay attention to the opportunity where they can get in and around and deal some damage in the back. Ami is going to grab that supply point here. As the push comes in from the NA boys, they start to make their way towards the home point. Plebs just watching the background, not even paying attention here. Kicker Tisu is in the back, just dealing some damage with his ranged unit. But the cavalry units are going to come in from the side. Kicker Ami and Kicker Essex is going to come in from the back. The heroes realize they can't go towards home point here. So the any boys, some of them are going up onto the wall. They're going to get some calf charges coming in here. But it's a slow, slow push in comparison to the way guys from plebs. Any boys with a different strategy, a different way of doing things. They're doing it a different prospect. But it's actually working out. They've got a good foothold position of where they want to be. But the plebs are defending it in a way in which they cannot be trebbed at this moment in time. Urahil is picked up by Silver. I find it. Shortbow versus Shortbow battle. We're down to 14 on the attack, 15 on the defence. There's the, the EU boys making their way up the stairwell just to make it look like we're coming up so they could potentially use some trebs here and see what happens. Ami is in the back here. They've still got units to watch the back here. Asianism watching the back here with the supply point so the calf doesn't come in and wipe them out here. But there's a lot of calf roaming around the outside here from plebs ready to make their way in when the time has come. Maximus sends in a treb here as units start to move towards that point here. You've got some palace guards that are going to get trebbed in the back. But the treb misses for the most part. The, pal the palace guards are staying well. EU boys starting to rotate from the base point here. They're starting to make their way in. And as you see, Asianism's keeping his unit in the back there. The any boys move forward. EU boys come in. Kicker is six with the Hussar charge. Straight through the point here. That's a good little char calf charge. Straight up in that. Kicker XX kills four heroes. Five heroes. Oh my god. Five heroes fall so quickly here from the point guard, guys. Instantaneously. The advantage is in favour of plebs already. A great rotation of Cav. The Cav comes in and wipes out so many heroes. They're down to seven heroes. And that is just a blue screen of death on the screen there. Ten heroes are down. Any boys are down and they're on the supply point. They're going to get countered from the back here. You've got units back and forward and take down critical. And Asianism I'm going to try and defend that supply point for their end. But there's three of them there and they're all going to get flanked from both sides here as people start to wipe them out. Asianism take down and critical all fall here. We're down to seven heroes. What a fantastic play. Fantastic play. From plebs. They just waited it out, they waited and got the right opportunity and then when the opportunity called, two calf charges, a calf hussar's charge comes in from SX6 which was fantastic and then we had the cataphracts coming in as well which just helped to wipe out the heroes and the units really really quickly. Guys we're over 600 viewers now guys in chat, give us a big hype there guys, let's see the hype in chat. This battle is a fantastic one as well, we're all getting here for your end spectacle of the evening. There we go, the any boys start to move their way in through the main point now. Now they're going full on end point. MVP, or oh, Mr. Billy D's putting a treb here right on the gateway. As you can see, Slides QT picks up takedown here. Critical falls to Amya as well. Amya now picking up more hero kills once again. Plebs starting to make their way forward, but getting themselves into the little death box area. There is nobody on the back supply point here, but we've got a unit of IPGs. Just watching the back here. Temple Shot's coming on the back. Kicker Tusu's getting chased off here up top with his javelins here. A lot of heroes going for these javelins up top. Amya. Is that Amya? No, it's Kicker Essex that dies there up top. But Takedown. Is Takedown going to get picked up? No, he doesn't. Takedown managed to avoid the, the grab. And they start to push themselves out there. The guys from Plebs are all set up on the defensive structure at home here with a perfect position. They've got ISGs, they've got their units of Fort Abrasio set up, they've got Iron Reapers in the back, with Flamers here as well, all ready to deal the damage to that push coming in. We've got Palace Guards watching the back flank. Uh, what's this? Wesley Selfie? Thank you for the follow, appreciate it, welcome to the clan. Don't know if I totally butchered your name, but probably did. 
the any boys of Pongar start to make their way in. They're starting to pick off heroes if they can. They're trying to find heroes one for one. They pick up Vasectomy, take them, grabs them, throws them into the pile of units there. As Vasectomy still manages to get up and gets away. He survives that. After that grab, he got took so far away and Vasectomy is still alive. Trickle and the rest of the boys will be very confused about how he got away there. We're still 14 heroes on the defense, 15 on the attack. We're close, pretty much even here. Critical getting picked up here from SX6 as well. Once again, another kill for the Jewel Blade. We are fantastic pushing coming in here now. Looks like a good push, but units coming from the back here. Amya's picked up. He's in, went invisible, trying to avoid being picked up here. Amya decided, gets away from the unit, starts to cap in the back here. The push from NA is going all right, but they've lost five heroes in their push. Units need to start moving. Gilsha sends in a treb, trying to hope for the best. Best here is a unit of calf comes in the back, but is stopped instantaneously from the boys of players. The treb comes in, and the units are moving into the treb, which is going to be a bit devastating for some units there, but a lot of the trebs don't actually swing into this area and actually hit. The boys are pushing them back, though. The plebs pushing the NA boys back really strongly. A unit of calf comes in here. To counter Cav, but they were just Cav, their own Cav versus their own Cav there. They've wiped off everybody there. There's only five heroes alive on the attack. Mr. Billy D, Uruhil, takedown, ASM tree in the back here. All trying to defend and hold themselves alive before people start pushing out. Kicker Tessio, SX6, trying to pick up ASM tree. He does do so as well. Kicker SX doing some damage. Look at these dual blades. They just put in so much work. Are they going to pick off Mr. Billy D? Um, he's looking for that. He's on the hunt. He's looking for Mr. Billy D, but Billy D is on the horse and gets away as a pike. But there's only f nine heroes alive for the any pawn guard side. The any uh, pawn guard guys are having to re-set up Get yourself ready for the next push. Amya, once again, caps that supply point, making it more difficult. Take down, having to re-cap the supply point in the back here as well. And these dual blades are just doing some really devastating work in the back. Constantly recapping that supply point. As you can see, Troop Casual is here, 407, but they've lost 636. It's a, it's, it's a different show in here. Hero kills wise. Who have we got? Amya and SXX have got to be up here. SXX with four. Silver with five hero kills here. Amya's actually not got that many hero kills this time around. He's only on two. But as things stand, he's been doing a great amount of work here. Asianism with a couple of hero kills. You've got Shooter Scabbed with two, three hero kills here as well. And Step Bro with three hero kills. Any boys are going to have to find something to do here now. They're going to have to get themselves organised and ready to go forward for this final push here. We've got eight minutes left, but the unit count isn't enough to get another full-on solid push. This is their last full-on solid push, and unit-wise, they've got some decent units in there, but a lot of greens and blues as well mixed in as the push comes in. They're doing it just heroes by the looks of it as the push goes in. We'll start to zoom in here on the spot and see a lot of the heroes fighting here. SKW fall. Any boys start capping. A little bit here, but the heroes all jump off, and look how quickly the heroes all die there. The plebs have killed the heroes in a matter of seconds. There's literally only one boy left, and it's Stepro. What are you doing, Stepro? Is alive and has run away. There is only him left as the plebs boys force their way out. They're trying to give themselves some opportunity. They push themselves out of the map and start to chase after Stepro. Couple of heroes alive now as they spawn in. But they are just not having a good day of it. There's a quad kill for Javamil. Kicker, kicker Winkrow picks up the comrade. No quarter for SSX. Make it happen for Kicker Flynn. A quad kill as well. This is this is devastating. This is just devastating here. The EU boys know what they're doing with their rotation. They could kill heroes in matters of seconds as well. They kill them so damn quickly. The units just weren't there. The units were just all over the place for any boys. They waited... But they had time. They should have waited a little bit longer before they got in it. You've got to be trolling, lol. <laughs> Step Bro 6 gets picked up by the Kicker SX and that is him, that is the only hero alive. None of the any boys are actually spawning back in. They've, I think they just gave up. The plebs have, have won this one. By the looks of it, plebs 
have kind of gave in. When 98% of you thought the players would win this, I think 98% of you are very much right in this, and I don't think that any boys are willing to come back alive and put in a last-ditch effort. Unless this is part of the strategy here, the heroes are starting to spawn in now. They're all coming in together, one for one, ready to see if there's people out here. They're going to try and see if they can pick up SX6 and the army of the people that pushed out. Any boys trying to do it as part of a strategy, potentially. Critical calls in a treb. Random treb in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> Probably should have aimed it more towards the gateway, but the gateway, they're not sending units out. That treb's actually going to deal more damage to potentially them. But any boys are now having to find a way in. They're going to have to work their way back from the very, very start here. Plebs are actually rotating back to home point. Are they going to let the any boys in? Or are they just going to close it off that little attack way? Big black chicken, adapt. All off the top wall, trying to pick up Javamil. But Javamil gets on his horse and runs off. Kicker Balfe, Kicker Mixu all down bottom here as well. Everybody on the pleb side all paying attention here as the any boys start to make the rotation along the top of the wall here with the units that they have. There is some cav outside ready to try and pick off units as they rotate. This could be an interesting strategy here from Maximus. He might pay it off. It might work if they get units in the back, but they've got units defending the gateway as they start to move off. Shoot a scav. Sends in a trip up the middle alleyway. That's going to hit nothingness though. It's going to hit the, the the wall for the most part and hit all the uh, artillery that's there. But emotional damage. <laughs> there we go. The enemy boys have gone the long round all the way around the wall. As Amir sees boys coming up from the behind. Critical starts to come up as he's glaive player in the background. FX, look, I appreciate the follow. Thank you for the follow. Hello, my friend. Thank you for the follow, guys. The Ravens go. Thank you for the followers, guys. Welcome to the clan. Appreciate it. Okay, any boys have got back to the supply point that they're at already. The plebs are all over in the centre point here, ready for home point push. The last potential push of the evening here on the CB Rivals. Round 2, this is point guard versus plebs. Plebs already won the first round and plebs look to be winning this second round here. They have the unit advantage on the defence and they seem to be wiping the heroes of the NA side very, very quickly. Okay, now the pawn guard guys start to make their way towards the back supply point here. The guys from Plebs start to make their way through the gate just to see where they're going. The heroes are all going, but they're all going to go and bait in and bait back as the Plebs start to push out the gate. Vasectomy up front there, taking it to them. Mixu also there. There's a good fight coming down in this hallway here. And as things stand, it looks like the red team of Plebs are pushing back the boys of pawn guard. Kicker Bomb and Black Chicken trying to fight it out here against each other. Kicker Amia jumps in on the back, sees Uruhu, finds Uruhu, picks off Uruhu and kills Uruhu in the background here as he jumps back again, goes back invisible. The players push back out, Winkro is getting up brittle and rotten and it looks very close here but it's 15 heroes versus 12 will make that critical fall to his death. Vasectomy is down as well, Sledgeman is down, Scav, Gilcho, SKW all fall, we've got 8 heroes alive, make that 6, it's going down really quickly, Tem Temple Shot gets the Comrades ability twice, Kicker Binums gets it as well, and a lot of the players are just dying off here, Kicker Dunkel has left the battle, but it looks like that is it for the NA boys, 13 heroes versus 1, ASM3 the only one alive as it stands and he will be chased down by Javamo and Winkrew and the rest of the plebs as it goes, ASM3 is he getting left alone or is ASM3 going to die, to which, which dual blade picks him up, it's SX6, SX kicks, Kiz picks up the kill there, 148 seconds, nah, here we are, 1 minute, 44 seconds, that was a GG. That was a ma fantastic effort. There's only 60 units left. Quad kill for Amia now. He's managed to pick it up. Sledgemain has left the battle. The any boys are leaving the battle. They have no units left, really. 60 units left against 313. The plebs shown how dominant they can be, how strong they are as a side, and why they went on to win the season one so strong and so valiantly, very well done, great effort, Maximus falling, SM3, there you go, see. It's time. Uh, 
they had five five traps still available, but the traps just weren't aren't really doing very much. Any, let's trap construction. <laughs> Critical take down alive still here. And we're watching him in the back here. Kicker Chimpe is just like, oh, I'll go do something silver. Going to deal some damage as a short bow as you could. Chimpe is just trying to see what he can do, but he's not going to hit anything inside that invulnerability zone. He's got his monastics in and out there. Just dealing some damage. Critical can pick off some kills, but that is it. 25 seconds, and we have our winner of this game and of this matchup series goes to Plebs. A 2 0 win and a very valiant effort for the guys of Plebs. Fantastic, strong, strong counters, strong, strong fights. You've got another fight going on up here. Big Black Chicken trying to fight off the dual blade, but SXX Kiz isn't going to falter to that. But he survives long enough to not die. Red wins, the plebs win. Our winner and MVP is Kicker Bimmon with 6 hero kills, 109 unit kills, and Silver with 6 hero kills, 50 unit kills. Kicker SX has been our dual blade of the evening. Look at this. 9 hero kills, 103 unit kills. You've also got Kicker Flynn with 9 hero kills, 91 unit kills. And Kicker Army with 7 and 37 units. Definitely a lot of hero kills on the side of Plebs. On the attacking side, Mr. Billy D gets MVP. 112 unit kills, 1 hero kill, 3 deaths but 2 assists. And then the most kills you got ever from one person was Uri Hill and it was only 2. There's a definite... Definitely a big difference in terms of the hero kills here. 62 versus 9. Fantastic focusing of it. It was so clean, it was so quick, it was so well done and very well organised from the boys of Plebs. Plebs go on to win that one and they will go top of their group, I'm sure, after that very...